today I have my first sort of installation of my holiday gift guide, my holiday fragrance gift guide. And today we're gonna be focusing on one that is sort of aimed towards men, but I bought it because there was something in here that interested me. Um, and this is the Sephora Favorites Cologne Sampler, even though these aren't colognes. <laughs> Sephora doesn't know what's up. Um, anyway, so this cost $68 and I paid full price for it because they don't have a sale currently. Although the VIB sale is coming up, I think towards the beginning of November. And so perhaps if this is something, or you know, there are other things on Sephora that you're interested in, you can check it out then because you can get between 10 and 20% off depending on like what level you are in their rewards program. Anyway, uh, so they don't have a whole lot of these sets for men. And in fact, I think this might be the only one currently, but these sets basically you get samples of fragrances and then you get a voucher for a full size one of them. And the full size can vary. It can be as little as one ounce, but sometimes it can be as much as like the 3.4 ounce or 100 mils. Um, I've noticed that recently, like the newer ones, they seem to be a little bit less generous and they're more of the one to two ounce size uh, compared to what they used to give. But either way, um, still most of these uh, cost more than that for whatever size, cost more than the $68 for whatever size you're getting. Um, so in general, I think that these sets are nice. If you can get them on sale, it's even better. And personally, I think these sets are great if you're interested in giving fragrance as a gift because then the person can pick what they want um, and you're not necessarily buying them something that they won't wear. All right, so I went ahead and just kind of took everything out of this, I don't know what you call it, like grooming caddy kit case. I don't know what you call it. Anyway, um, so in there, again, there is the certificate that you can use to get a full size of whichever fragrance you want from the set. And then of course, there are all the tiny samples that are in here. It comes like in a plastic packaging so that they're all like nicely presented sort of, but I took that out. The other thing it comes with, and this is something that I've noticed they started doing recently or somewhat recently, is it comes with a card with like the fragrances with notes and like a place where you can write your thoughts. I did not do that. I wrote down how much each full size bottle is worth so that we can compare. But the fragrances that are in here real quickly, just to go over it in here, I'll, I'll put the picture up so you can see. Maybe it'll focus, there we go. So there is the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Pour Ohm. There's uh, Giorgio Armani Aqua Di Gio. Prada Luna Rosa Carbon, Versace Dylan Blue, Yves Saint Laurent Y, Gucci Guilty Eau de Toilette for him, Invictus Victory from Paco Rabanne, Valentino Womo Born in Roma, and Victor and Rolf Spice Bomb Infrared. And the Spice Bomb Infrared is why I bought this because I like Spice Bomb Infrared and I already knew that. Um, that's a lot of times what I do with these is I'll look and see what's in there. And if I know I already like something that I might want to get a full bottle of anyway, then I'll do it. If I'm unsure, then I'll try to go into a Sephora and smell the testers <laughs> to see if I might like something that's in there um, or I might just not buy it. But anyway, so, um, the best value in this, and then I'll tell you a little bit about the scents, but the best value in this is the YSL uh, Y Eau de Parfum because you get two ounces of that and that retails for $100. And again, this cost $68. Um, the Spice Bomb Infrared is the second best value at $90. The worst value, um, which is still more than $68, but not much, the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Pour Ohm is 2.5 ounces for $72, and the Dylan Blue from Versace Eau de Toilette is $72 as well for 1.7 ounces. Um, also, you could probably find those on discount sites for even less. So anyway, um, I don't think that this men's sampler is the best deal unless you're getting one of these, like like I said, the Spice Bomb or the uh, Yves Saint Laurent. Otherwise, I don't know. I feel like maybe it's not a fantastic deal. It's okay. Uh, but I do still think it's a good gift idea. But anyway, let's go ahead and talk about these fragrances. I'll give you a spoiler alert. Uh, I don't like most of these, so sorry if I am... Not necessarily negative, you know, I'm not usually too negative, but uh, sorry if I seem like a downer because most of these I don't like. However, I will tell you which ones I do and I'll just tell you my thoughts about them in general. All right, so we'll start with the um, Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Pour Ohm. Why do they still do dabbers for these light blue samples? They do it for the women's one too. Um, I just, I don't get it. Anyway, uh, let me just dab a little bit of this on. <laughs> my little tester strip here. Uh, yeah, we'll do this. There we go. Okay. So the light blue pour ohm, um, not a favorite. It's not terrible. 
However, honestly, if I'm gonna just give you my straight up opinion, if you are interested in the light blue DNA, just get the one for women because it's very unisex and it smells better than this one. Um, yeah, so this one has like juniper in it, which you definitely get. It has the citruses, definitely has an aquatic feel to it. It's, you know, it's just kind of an aquatic style fragrance. Nothing, nothing mind blowing, nothing terrible. Like this is not offensive to me, but it's just not great. And I do definitely think that the women's light blue can be worn by a man. And I personally think that's the better of the two. So the light blue, uh, poor ohm is a pass for me. I personally wouldn't want to wear it. I would rather not smell it on a man, even though I don't find it offensive. I don't think it adds anything. So just to give you my two cents, that would not be the one I would get a full bottle of from this set. All right, next one up, I've smelled a billion times, uh, but we'll spray it again. It's Aquadicio, and uh, you've probably smelled it a billion times too. <laughs> but anyway, um, this is like a citrusy, woody kind of fragrance. I actually like this. It still has an aquatic vibe to it. Um, and then like, I don't know, there's something like a little bit, not like pine, but like coniferous almost a little bit to it with that woodiness. Um, yeah, I mean, I find it pleasant. It's been around a really long time, so you probably don't need me to tell you what it smells like, but it's just like a, a nice, fresh, citrusy, woody kind of fragrance. So uh, again, I don't find this offensive. I personally wouldn't pick this one, um, but like I would think somebody does smell good if they're wearing it. Um, I would also probably know immediately that they're wearing Aquadigio. <laughs> but uh, not the most original. However, it is still around, I think, for a reason because it's a, it's a decent, fresh, easy wearing fragrance. All right, next is the Prada Luna Rosa Carbon. I don't think I had smelled this before I got this set. Um, I do like the Prada, what is it? Om, Loam Intense, that one that has the iris in it, uh, but I haven't smelled a ton of the Prada Men's line. So anyway, yeah, this one I, I like all right. I think this one's pretty decent. So this one is still woody. Uh, it's a little bit, a little bit, like a tiny bit sweet. Like it has some like sweet warmth to it. Um, I would say I can pick up lavender in this one, which, you know, kind of makes it, a lot of times lavender will be associated with traditionally masculine scents, but I would say lavender, again, Broxen. It's kind of that style of fragrance and some citruses. Um, and like I said, yeah, a tiny bit sweet. So it's like a little bit uh, maybe... I don't know, I wouldn't say this is like a winter scent, but I could see it working like three seasons, like spring to fall. Um, yeah, and it's not bad. Again, not my favorite, but I wouldn't think somebody smelled bad if they were wearing this. So that is the Prada Luna Rosa Carbon. All right, next is Versace Pour Homme Dylan Blue. And I have smelled the women's Dylan Blue. I don't like it. I've smelled the women's Dylan Turquoise. I hate it. <laughs> um, so the men's here, let's try this out. I don't like it, guys. I'm sorry, I really don't like this. Um, oh, no. Uh, so this one, I'm, okay, let me, let me be an adult here. Let me get it together. <laughs> so this is still got like a citrusy sort of opening. It's still a little bit woody. It's aquatic. I, it's, it's scratchy. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just, it, I don't know. It just seems scratchy and unfinished a bit, or I don't know, just not, I just don't like it. I don't like this. Um, I would say there might be something, it's either like woody and or patchouli, but I, I don't know. I think it's just woody. Um, yeah, it's just not good. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I don't like that one. Um, if you do like it, great. That's fine. I personally don't like it. Um, but you know, I think it's popular. So probably a lot of people do like it. Um, and I'm just one person and my opinion doesn't matter that much. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see. Next one, we'll do the Y from Yves Saint Laurent. So this, like I said, is the one that's the best value. And if you know that you like this fragrance, then this set might be great because you can spend 68 or less if you can get on sale for the set. And then you can get a hundred dollar bottle of the Yves Saint Laurent Y. So this one, I do like, um, I, I do enjoy this one. Uh, I would say this one, I think it has an apple note in it and it definitely has sage, but I'm pretty sure I remember this having an apple note in it. And it kind of smells like a crisp sort of like a green apple, not like sweeter. It's like more crisp. Um, definitely still like a, like a hay-like woodiness, probably. 
yeah, I would say this one is like sort of hay-like. And I think that this one has a little bit of Tonka too. Still though has that sort of, um, I don't know if it's Ambroxan, but some sort of vibe to it like that. Or maybe it's just all the Ambroxan wafting up, wafting up from everything else I've been smelling. But, but yeah, this one's definitely nicer. I like the sage and I like the crispness in the opening. Um, and I do like, it's probably vetiver. Yeah, I think it is. Let me double check. Yeah, it's vetiver that's in here, which would give it that hay sort of quality, which I like vetiver and I like tonka and I think that's in here too. So um, I personally definitely think that it does lean a bit masculine. However, I think a woman could pull this one off. Um, I mean, you can pull off anything you want. Uh, this one just maybe like, I don't know, more so than some of these others that just smell like very much all the, the typical designer masculine marketed fragrances. So it just seems like a men's fragrance because it smells like, you know, 50% of the things that are out there. Um, so this one may be a little bit less so because of kind of that unique combination with the sage. But anyway, um, yeah, that one's nice. I, I don't love it, but I like it. All right. Okay. The next up is the Gucci Guilty Pour Homme. Um, I think I would be more interested in trying the Absolute version. I like the Gucci Guilty uh, Absolute Pour Femme, but I haven't smelled the, the men's one. This one is, it's not offensive, but it's just kind of like, meh. It's spicy a little bit. It's woody a little bit. I think there's some citrus in this as well. I would say there's lavender in this. Um, yeah, mostly like spicy lavender citrus opening with like woodiness, like or like a woody sort of base to it underlying that. Not particularly unique, um, but again, it's not unpleasant. It's just okay. Uh, I don't love it. <laughs> it's, it's all right. Yeah, so like I said, most of these I don't really care for that much or they don't really excite me. Uh, the Dylan Blue, I don't like at all. <laughs> um, but uh, let's see here. Let's go with... All right, so next let's go with uh, the Paco Rabanne Invictus Victory. So this is a flanker to Invictus, I presume. And I don't know what's the thing about this one. I don't hate it. I don't like it either. No, it's kind of in the middle. Actually, no, I like this more than several of the other ones in here. It's it's not great, but I like it more than some of the others. So this one does have like a spicy woodiness to it as well. Um, I still think there's some citrus in this one, but this one is a little bit sweeter. I think there might be vanilla added to this one. Probably still, it seems like a touch of lavender, although not as strong as maybe what's in the Y. Yeah, okay, I actually, this one's okay. I like this outright. Would I wear it? No. Nah. Would I pick it out for somebody to wear? No. But if somebody had this on, I would be like, yeah, they smell nice. Yeah. So anyway, that's Invictus Victory. Um, compared to some of the others, I guess we'll call it a victory. <laughs> but God, I'm such a nerd, you guys. I am a giant dork. Anyway, all right, let's move on. So next is the Valentino Womo Born in Roma. Uh, I, I like the women's uh, Donna Born in Roma. Is that what it's called? I like that one, all right. Um, so here we go. No, <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> so this smells like candy violets, um, which probably some people would love. Uh, I don't like violet uh, that much, which is weird because I love iris and violet is often paired with iris. And in that combination, I usually am fine. But when it's violet on its own, I don't like it. Um, so, I mean, I don't hate it, but it smells like sweet candy, like artificially candied like violets almost like Smarties in a way on top of it. It's like if you crunch up a bunch of Smarties and you have some like sugary candied violets, maybe a touch of like woods or spice added to it. Yeah, there's like a bit of spice, but that's what it smells like. I don't know. It's it's unique. I'll give it that. Doesn't smell like the rest of these. Um, so points there for not smelling like most of the designer fragrances. Um, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not on board with that sweet candy violet thing that's going on there. So that was the Valentino Woma, Womo, born in Roma. And the last one I know I like, so spoiler, uh, I have tried this before, but that one is the Spice Bomb Infrared. So this is obviously a flanker to Spice Bomb. Uh, Spice Bomb Extreme and this one are my two favorite flankers of Spice Bomb. And I also prefer them more than the original. 
yeah, this one's really nice. So this, it's a similar, of course, it is a flanker. I shouldn't say of course, because some flankers you're like, well, this doesn't even smell like the original, but this one does smell like the original. Um, smells like extreme as well a bit. So this one, obviously you get the spices, like you get the spice, it has a touch, like a tiny touch of sweetness, tiny touch of woodiness, has a bit of a tobacco in there, just like the original or the extreme does at least. Um, but then I think what they added to this one, there's like a slight fruitiness to it. I think it's supposed to be red berries, some sort of red berries, uh, if I remember correctly. Um, and then I can't remember. There was this one other thing that I think is different from this compared to kind of like the extreme or the original, like one other note that was like substantially different. But to me, it just has like a little bit of a fruitiness to it. Um, and I would say otherwise, it's maybe like not quite as in your face as uh, the, the spice in the extreme or the, uh, I can't remember off the top of my head how like strong the spice is in the original, but maybe a little bit toned down because of that added like slight sweet fruitiness to it. But it's not like a fruit, I would, this is not a fruity fragrance, just FYI. It's still very much in the line of Spice Bomb. So if you like Spice Bomb, there's, very little chance that you would not like this. I would say that there's like a 95% chance you would like this if you like the original Spice Bomb or Spice Bomb Extreme because it is very similar. Um, do you need both? No, if you already have one of the other ones, you don't need this. But like I said, I do like this one in the Extreme the most. So if you don't have one yet, then I would recommend checking out Infrared or Extreme because those are both really nice in my opinion. All right, so those are all the fragrances that are in this set. Again, um, I, in general, I'm not a fan of most of these. I think that the majority of them smell okay, but nothing like fantastic. Uh, however, if you are interested in the uh, YSL Y or the Spice Bump Infrared, I do think this set is a good value. Uh, several of the other ones, or a few of the other ones, I should say, are like around the $80 mark. So still it's like the set is $12 less than that, but Honestly, I think unless you're going for the Spice Bomb Infrared or the Yves Saint Laurent Y, then I'm not sure that this set is like a super great value. Um, either way though, I again do think it's a great gift if you're thinking about for a guy in particular, although, you know, women might want to try this just like I did. Um, but uh, if you're thinking about for a guy, this might be a good option, especially if you don't really know their tastes and you're not sure what they want, or maybe they don't really know their own tastes. I recently uh, gave some samples to a guy friend of mine and I was like, I just gave you a bunch of stuff because I don't really know what you like. And he's like, that's great because I don't know what I like either. So something like this would be great for that type of person who's maybe interested in fragrances, but doesn't really have much experience with them. I hope you all like this video. If so, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already. I will be doing more of these videos up to the holidays where I talk about some things that I think are good gift ideas for people that are obviously fragrance related because that's all I talk about on my channel. Um, so stay tuned for that. But otherwise, I hope you all are having a great day. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you haven't already. And I'll